at Braves Fest. Is it something that's kind of in the back of your mind at this point? Uh, I was asked about it, so I mean, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I answered the questions that I did back then and still feel the same way. You know, I love being here, but um, at this point right now, I'm really just focusing on getting ready for the season. Do you try new things at spring training? Is this a time to, to try a new pitch or to tweak something, or you just kind of need to get what you do where it needs to be? Yeah, I think uh, right now it's just about getting ready for the season, getting a really good uh, foundation and base, and uh, you know it's a long year. Um, got a lot of pitches, got a lot of different things going right now that have developed over the years, so it's mostly about sharpening those and you know just getting ready. I remember you saying something about you felt kind of the healthiest that you've felt in a mm -hmm. long time. So how's this spring kind of maybe feel different compared to past years for you physically? Uh, I'm it still holds true. I feel feel great, um, you know, just health wise and everything. So maintaining weight really well, um, and that's you know that's really big for me, especially going throughout the season. You tend to lose some weight, so being able to kind of being more stable on that, just feel strong and you know just. Being able to weather the season because it is a long one and it breaks you down. So to be able to have a, a good starting point, it's really important. When you say you're trying to keep weight on, is it something that are you having more protein shakes? Like what kind of adjustments have you had to make to keep that on? Uh, you know, just I'd say just more diet, just being more conscious of your diet, being able to you know not have a lot of fried fast food stuff like that. Um, eating a little bit cleaner and. Uh, just being more conscious of that. Can you speak to the, the depth of your group? The pitching staff is deep. A lot of guys who can get it done. Just speak to the rotation you guys have and how cool it is to have you look over so many guys who can get it done. Uh, I feel like every year we get a little bit deeper, just whether it's lineup-wise or pitching. And I feel like we don't we don't really have holes this year. We've got you know five plus stars. We got more. We got more that are extremely talented and they're gonna. Um, that we're going to need throughout the year. Um, the bullpen is obviously extremely talented. I'm really excited to kind of see what they end up doing. And then obviously our offense is, you know, they were the best in baseball last year. And we still have a lot of the same guys and even added a couple. So, uh, you know, we've, we've got a really, really talented and great team. And now it's just going out there and showing it on the field. The idea of a healthy Chris Sale, yeah. how exciting is that to add to this rotation? Oh, it's. It's incredible. I mean, he's been, you know, when he's healthy, he's one of the best pitchers in the game. So to be able to add him and bring in a, a winning mindset and just kind of uh, not messing around, like we're we're going to get after it. And, you know, there's an intensity there that you can really feel and you can feel his presence. So to be able to have someone to be able to come in and as accomplished and, you know, as successful as he's been, uh, we're, we're really, really happy to have him here. Successful 2024. Um, you know, I've I've heard it the last couple of days, and it's you know same true for me. We we're here to go out there and get to the World Series and win it. That's uh, you know we we had a really good year last year, and uh, we've made additions to get better. And I think just shows that everyone from player wise to front office that we feel like we want to get better and can get better and I think the only only way to get better from what we did last year was to actually go and get part of the playoffs and win it so I know we have a lot of really determined guys here that are ready to get going and uh, really goal oriented. You're sandwiched between Morton and Sale so there's plenty of advice <laughs> that can be given to you but how much now you're a veteran how much advice do you give to the guys down the other end of the locker room? Um, I feel like I'm kind of in this like middle where I'm still obviously learning and still feel like the same guy that got called up when, you know, 2017. Uh, but definitely have a little bit more experience under my belt. So taking in as much as I can from obviously the veterans around me. But, um, you know, young guys come up and have questions and I'm more than more than willing to be able to kind of share what I've, I've learned so far, knowing that I still you're in this game. You can never take a day off and you always have to be really aware of What's happened? What's coming up? And always be, always be learning. So, um, yeah, just trying to help everyone out because everyone's got their own journey. But um, I'm really excited. We've got a lot of really talented young guys that I can't wait to see go out there and succeed. What are the conversations like in between those two? Right now, it's just mostly 
family, how everyone did in their off seasons, how's the holidays were. Um, you know, they're both they're <laughs> they're both they're both uh, really great dads. So um, to be able to just get to know them more on a personal level, and then being able to do more, I would say, get into the into the weeds of baseball stuff. We got enough time for that. What's the best piece of advice that you've received from Charlie, and how just crucial has he been to have him here? Any advice that he gives? Charlie gives. He allows you to be your authentic and genuine self and is very accepting of that. So I think just being able to allow everyone to have their own personalities flourish and um, he, he really helps bring that out in you just because he's always very supportive and he's always himself. So um, it's important, especially coming into this, knowing who you are and being comfortable with who you are it helps you perform out on the field. Max, injuries can be tough. As you went through the process last year, mm -hmm. was there anything you learned about yourself mentally that can help you as you get ready for this season to kind of fight through those tough times? Um, I don't know if there's anything that I've really learned about myself. I just, I learned that I don't like sitting on the sidelines and watching. <laughs> um, and just being able to really stay on top of the little things that might be a little bit mundane, but are going to allow me to be out there every single day. So just kind of what I alluded to, where it was, uh, you know, food, nutrition, just you know, getting your body ready, just little things like that that um, you just have to take into account. Do you feel like you have even more to prove this year to stay as healthy as possible? Uh, n not not overly, nothing crazy. I'm just I'm excited to go out there and just be myself. Thank you.